So in BluePlate, which is the grid framework for WebPlate, there are a few classes. So in BluePlate, we have a few classes that we can use for offsetting elements on a page. I'm going to show you a few examples right now. First one I'm going to show is the standard offset. And I'm going to set something up. A div with the class of span dash four. Right. I'm going to add the offset dash four class. Span dash four, offset dash four. And we'll say offset four columns. I'll save and refresh. You'll see here. It goes all the way down to mobile. If you wanted to, you can target uh, specific window sizes. And in blue plate, you have the small or the large class that you can add to it. Let's say for some reason on small, I wanted to do actually it's this way: offset dash small. And we'll say eight. So on small screens, I want to offset this eight columns. There you go. You see as I bring the window in, our div here has jumped over eight columns. There's another variation of an offset class. And I'll just copy this and then paste it down here. And rather than offsetting uh, this div, you can offset an element immediately following this div. So I'm going to use an image, and it'll just be a uh, placeholder. Placehold dot it forward slash. Um, we'll make it 400 by. 80 and the offset is going to be similar to this one only instead of the dash small I want to put an R for right so I want to offset the element to the right uh, eights a little large so why don't we go four and then I'll remove this one Let me refresh. You can see here, I'm offsetting this image four columns. If we take a look at the code using our inspector tools, I can show you what's actually going on here. You can see as I hover over this, the orange area in the center represents the margin. You can see over here, this class offset dash r dash four simply adds a margin which is a width of about four columns or 33.333 percent just like the last example i showed you can also target uh, different screens let's say for whatever reason i only want it to offset on mobile phones or small screens I can do just like that and I can do this for large as well for targeting large screens now for this example I'll just use small let me save this and the offset has gone away and when I bring the window in close this up it breaks to the next line and I think that's because this image is really large so if I were to make this an 80 by 80 or 40 by 80 whatever I should fix the problem you can see now when I hover over here you'll see offset dash small right four columns so it's about four columns so that's a pretty quick rundown of the offsetting classes in WebPlate. 
or more specifically blue plate which is the plug-in for the grid we went over offsetting the basic way offsetting for small screens offset four columns uh, eight columns on small and offsetting elements four columns to the right that's pretty much it really easy it can be very useful in some use cases uh, thanks for watching